What's happening, people? And once again, welcome back to Cubcam TV for this, another edition of the Cubcast, as we continue to explore music from around the world here on the channel. First of all, I want to say a massive shout out to each and every one of you getting involved with the recent videos, the recent mix uh, concepts, and of course, all the reactions, as well as our Friday live streams. Big up each and every one of you. The channel growth has been absolutely crazy over the course of the last few weeks, and uh, I'm loving every single second of it. So thank you for being involved in this uh, incredible journey. It's uh, so much fun. If you have haven't already please make sure you are getting involved in the channel by hitting that subscribe button on the right hand side of the page turning notifications on leaving a like leaving a comment all of that good stuff uh, as you can see we've done a little bit of rearranging to the room we've actually got a bit of a uh, an actual youtube setup going on now which is very enjoyable we fixed some issues we were having uh, with lighting and with the camera angles and things like that hopefully you guys are enjoying the new layout um i most certainly am and today we're going to get into another one of these conversations we're going to be talking about um an album that has i don't want to say redefined but it has re-established um, the dominance of one individual artist and it's also paved the way for a number of other artists as well. It's an album that has genuinely uh, shaken the sort of global music community to the core. It's an album that has changed the world in my honest opinion. It's an album that has uh, made people's lives a lot better and we are of course talking about, drumroll please, it is of course made in Lagos. Now, um, Wizkid is without a shadow of a doubt one of the most popular musicians in the world. Um, essence off of this album with, with, was without a doubt one of the most popular tracks of last year it was only released in 2020 um and it's already going down as a legendary creation now the reason i want to uh, dive into talking about this album today it's not a random one it's because we've seen some very interesting news land today um according to chart data made in lagos has returned to the number one spot on the world albums chart earning a fifth week at number one it's the longest charting african album of all time in that position apparently which is absolutely crazy um it's been in the uh, it's been in the charts now for 68 weeks it currently sits at number one um, and it is currently sitting above bts with a map of the soul which has been in there for 105 weeks uh, but again being knocked off the top again this week by whiz kids made in lagos now i don't know um if i'm being entirely honest whether this includes both the deluxe edition and the original edition obviously this album has been a project which has kind of carried on growing as time has gone on um i mean you look through the actual track listing on there even to this day you've got reckless ginger um a long time you've got mighty wine blessed um obviously with damien miley smile piece of me with ella may um, you've got no stress on there which is still my personal favorite track off the album uh true love with obviously taiwa and projects um and then you move on to the uh, extended versions um down below with the likes of sweet one essence again one of the biggest tunes currently out there uh roma with terry you've got gyrate grace and ot um obviously mood featuring budgie which was my favorite addition with the um uh, deluxe edition on there obviously steady as well as the uh, essence remix which features the likes of justin bieber and thames a crazy amount of content which has obviously come from this album um an interesting fact about the charts whilst we're also looking at it as well ck the first currently sits at number seven and it's been involved in the charts for the last 22 weeks so we might end up seeing a similar scenario of that but somehow i don't feel it's going to have quite the level of success that obviously made in lagos has had uh for me made in lagos is one of the most important albums in recent times the uh impact it's had on a global level the amount of people who now are taking an interest in this sound that weren't before um it's it's a beautiful thing to watch it's a beautiful thing to watch grow it's a beautiful thing to watch establish um on a global scale um when we actually go down and look at the incredible success of the album i've made some notes here on the, on my screen so that i'm able to kind of showcase exactly why i hold this album in such high esteem um and actually no this isn't the reason i hold it in such high esteem i hold it in such high esteem because it is genuinely on a sonic level near enough perfect but when we look at what other people think about it it's clear that this isn't just a uh, uni opinion this is an opinion that is held quite uh heavily across a global scale um obviously the award nominations we see british vogue voted it as the number one album for 2020 uh, clash magazine actually had it on 36 but i feel with clash magazine they have a much wider um I suppose kind of spectrum of things they want to analyze in that selection it also received a nomination um at the 64th annual grammy awards for the best global music album and it has been kind of replicated in numerous different places it's won a ton of uh awards for being the best album in different competitions and different scenarios um fantastic um recognition for the project without a shadow of a doubt um i think on top of this as well you have to look at other things the album has helped do it is without a doubt one of the main reasons that thames has grown in such an incredible way um essence is is probably the most talked about um obviously track on the album for me my favorites are no stress ginger and um 
obviously mood as well featuring Buju. but um there's no getting away from the fact that essence is probably the biggest tune on there it's probably the most globally recognized it's one of the biggest tracks of the decade without a shadow of a doubt as well um and it's just seeing the success of it and, con- and seeing the continued success makes it really interesting more than anything else because this is a tune that people are still coming across this is a tune that people are still kind of discovering for the first time even a year and a half on um and they're loving it every time which is so so exciting to see and obviously off the back of that thames has gone on to work with uh, the likes of drake she's appeared on dave's album as well i believe um and alongside that as uh well we also saw um a fantastic ep from her towards the end of last year and she's really really becoming um a uh, global force to contend with um alongside this as well obviously the made in lagos tour which uh, touched a lot of different countries worldwide and also sold out the o2 on numerous nights um i still watched a video from the uh, whiskered show at the o2 um and it gives me shivers just seeing how appreciated this sound has now been and this is from this album essentially that's one of the reasons this, he's become such a global sensation but obviously he was established before this but the wave of new fans that have come in off the back of it, it there's no getting away from it that he is with one of the biggest artists in the world currently um you then look at the inputs of the deluxe edition obviously the likes of justin bieber getting involved buju getting involved as well you've got a nice combination of the uh, of the new and of course the um well, one of the biggest artists in the world in Justin Bieber, without a shadow of a doubt. I've just seen as well that he has a brand new release dropping this Friday with Omar Lay. Incredible. The uh, the stretch that we are now seeing is amazing and you can't help but feel that wouldn't have been possible without the impact of this album. Not saying it wouldn't have happened, but it would have been a long time coming. It wouldn't have happened as quickly as it actually has. Obviously, you then get to see the sort of mini movie that we saw for the deluxe edition, all of the additional video content that came with it as well. Um, it's safe to say that this has been a full-on bonanza of content. Um... And obviously the amount of joy this album has brought has been absolutely crazy. And the reason that I wanted to do this video was just to highlight not just the fact that it's receiving this kind of global charting... um I want to say kind of recognition, but the fact that everyone who has listened to it time and time again will still listen to it time and time again, and it will still remain one of the strongest albums currently out there. For me, it is just a, an incredible body of work, um, and it's always a pleasure to talk about. And that's why I wanted to put this video together, just to kind of shine some light on the fact that we haven't forgotten about how big a deal this album was. It remains one of the strongest things that we've uh, heard in recent times, and yeah, it's just been such an enjoyable thing to watch. I know there are a lot of WizKid fans on this channel uh, whenever we have a new uh, WizKid release people absolutely flock towards it on this channel and it's understandable he has the status and he has the sort of uh the sort of capabilities of doing that but i just wanted to put this video together to kind of um showcase that we are still listening to it and obviously we are very aware of how much of a big deal it is uh there we go then people that's been today's edition of the cubcast hopefully you have enjoyed this uh, quick video if you did please make sure you're getting involved by hitting that subscribe button on the right hand side of the page turning notifications on leaving a like leaving a comment all of that good stuff uh some other bits we've got coming up this week we are going to be getting into a full length review of uh, ash's brand new fantastic five album uh we're going to be breaking that down obviously there's a whiz collaboration on there as well but we're going to be breaking it down for track for track we also of course have uh this month's edition of the pull-up we're going to be running through some of my favorite bangers that have landed this month in a full one hour dj selection and alongside that as well we are going to be getting into this month's edition of top fives looking at my five favorite afrobeat releases of the month crazy uh february february's been an incredible month for new releases so i'm very excited to put that together and of course we've got a ton of uh, new reaction videos to get into as well so hopefully you guys do stay tuned to the channel that's it from me though hopefully you have enjoyed and we shall see you all next time peace make sure you subscribe to the youtube channel right now corp camp tv stay locked